Change Sets, a tool to manage versioning and change logs with a focus on multi-package repositories. There are other approaches to versioning the packages in your monorepo, like using Intuit's Auto, Microsoft's Beachball, or Lerna and conventional commits, but I've found that Change Sets offers the least opinionated and most customizable set of features. Before getting into the features of Change Sets, I'd like to point out that not every app or organization needs to version their packages. In a lot of cases, adding the ability to version your packages is an extra complexity that is just going to add bloat. A couple reasons you may want to add versioning to your repo are 1. Open sourcing your package and publishing to the general public, or 2. Your infrastructure has reached a point where it no longer makes sense to put all of your code into a single monorepo. Now that you've decided you want to version your packages, let's take a look at change sets. To get started, open your project and run npm install at change sets slash CLI to install the change sets CLI, and then mpx change set init to generate an initial JSON config file in a dot change sets directory. To version a package, run mpx change set. This will pick up all of the package JSON files referenced as workspaces within your project and prompt you for which ones need a version bump and a description of the change. Once finished, this command generates what's known as a change set file, which is just a markdown file containing human and machine readable metadata about the versions that will be updated. Now optionally run mpx change set status dash dash verbose to see what changes will be published as part of the next release. Once ready to version your packages, run mpx change set version. This will remove all change sets you currently have and translate them to package version and change log updates. The change set CLI will automatically update any interdependent package versions based on their sim versioning ranges. Finally, Commit your changes, build your packages if necessary, and run mpx change set publish to publish your code to npm and create git tags for each of the new packages. You can add a fixed option to your config for any packages you always want versioned together. For example, a version bump to package A implies a version bump to package B, and vice versa. Or add update internal dependence to always bump interdependent packages no matter what. If you need to create a snapshot for your package, for example if you're supporting a canary release, you can run mpx change set version dash dash snapshot for the CLI to generate snapshot versions. When publishing, run mpx change set publish dash dash no git tag if you don't want to create git tags as part of the publish process. For packages you don't want published to an npm registry, add private true to your package JSON. And for packages that you don't want versioned, omit the version field from your package JSON. This wasn't an entirely inclusive list of all the features of change sets, but hopefully this gives you a good idea of how customizable your versioning scheme can be with change sets. The workflow you choose with change sets is also extremely customizable due to the phased approach it takes, where you first create a change set, then version your packages, and finally publish the changed packages. Each step is its own independent step, which is only loosely coupled to the overall change sets lifecycle. So if you want to automate the creation of change sets, you can easily replace that step. Or if you want your own custom publish process, you can do that too. If you've been looking for a highly customizable tool for versioning your components, change sets is the answer. If you liked this video, press that like button and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one.